All right, so we out here. I'm leaving some other mail in the bathroom. In the bathroom. So let's see. Is it a man? Again and again, there is no man in the women's bathroom. I mean, the men's bathroom. This is the men's bathroom. And when they leave, I'm gonna go out there and check it out. I just wanna know what's, what's wrong with the men using the women's bathroom. It's very strange. So yeah, we'll wait. Just to make sure I keep my eyes on the women's bathroom so it doesn't look like I, you know, anything. The women's bathroom This is um, Curry Park here in West Palm Beach, Florida. And the weird phenomenon is the men keep using the women's bathroom. So, I'm gonna go ahead and see what's going on here. These some gang stalkers here. You know, they can be gang stalking for a little bit of money. But, like I said, uh, I believe uh, it was you in the bathroom? Why do you use the women's bathroom? The men's bathroom? Yeah, both of the styles are clothes. Both of the styles are clothes? Hey, hey, you don't do that for me? Oh, you don't want me to ask you for shit? Darnell charged his body already, didn't he? What? I said, didn't Darnell already charge his body? I didn't ask you that. You need to fix that hernia, baby. Don't worry about charging your phone. Charge up that hernia. Anyway, so I was right. It was definitely a man in there. That's Isaac. Isaac is a definitely known gang stalker. Okay, so he, he just saw it. This nigga just came out the motherfucking um, women's bathroom. Okay, so supposedly a guy is in the bathroom. So I see one guy. And I guess I hear two. But even if it's two, you didn't tell me you can't hold your motherfucking ass. You have to go use the fucking women's bathroom, you know what I mean? That's weird. But um, yeah, so this is the second time today I had to just record that it's a theme. Um, it is a theme. Like I said, um, if it's a coincidence, I don't know if, if where you're from, that the men be coming in the bathroom, there's a, a white guy in this um, vehicle here, and I believe he's the one who told Isaac, you can see, he's the one who told Isaac to go in the bathroom and take a shit. Because the other guy said the same thing. The other um, black guy came in, he thought, oh, I gotta take a shit. Same thing. You think this is cool. Anyways, so yeah. Um, this is the second time, and coincidentally, I had to use the bathroom myself, and I had to be the one to catch a second time for today, a man inside of the women's bathroom. So, you know what I mean? I've been coming to this park for a very, very long time. When I say very long time, almost just as long as I've been living in Palm Beach County, and this is my first time seeing um men just keep using the bathroom like this um at this rate you know what i mean this is how you can tell um florida is just a stage they got motherfucking ron DeSantis, old dick sucking ass talking about some old anti-grooming and t always targeting some sort of tranny or tranny student or trans transgender student talking shit about them talking about some oh well um you know the race should have been won by a real woman not a transgender so you have all these transgender problems, but yet there's literally grown ass men going in the motherfucking bathroom, the women's bathroom. And this is the second time today. Today is April 23rd, I believe. So today is the second time on April 23rd that a man has been in the women's restroom. And what set me off was some ugly ass feet. <laughs> Cause I was like, uh uh, them feet is is a bit too ugly to be some women's feet. Like I done seen some ugly ass women's feet, but them motherfuckers look like somebody done hammered them bitches down with a motherfucking hammer. 
So, or a sledgehammer or something. So, I'm like, who feed them is? So, I, I, you know, I waited till the motherfucker came out of the bathroom. And sure enough, it was, it was man feeding. It was a man taking the shit in the women's bathroom. And like I said, if it wasn't for the fact that I record this kind of stuff. And look at gang talking at John. Trying to get the electric slide on. John, nobody want your ass in my camera shot, nigga. Get some grass cock wool for that little lad dick, John. Work on that dick, baby. All that jumping and no, and your penis ain't even jumping up. What's going on? John, John, John. Grass cock wool, baby. Grass cock wool. Anyways. <laughs> I talk too much shit. Anyways, it's the, like I said, second time in one day, April 23rd, that the um, gang stalkers. Now, also, check out this car here. Look at the um the side here. It looks like it's been in a car crash. You see, um that is what I was telling you that on CarMax, a lot of um a lot of people cars have been crashed. I can actually even walk through the parking lot right now because that's how confident I am that I can see a bunch of cars um with like dents and stuff like that. And it's because everybody has been participating in a nationwide insurance fraud scam okay and because they've been participating in this nationwide insurance fraud scam is a lot of crash cars because i think they somehow somebody knows that this shit about to fucking go down and because it's about to go down you know like economy about to crash let's try to milk everything we can fuck the insurance company let's milk all the insurance companies you know fuck fuck everything let's just milk everything we can get all the fraud and scam we can and let's you know what i mean get rich or die trying basically is the is the memo here Okay, so we got this old ass nigga gang stalking too. Keep your eyes on the road with that ugly ass fedora. <laughs> so crazy. So yeah, um, yeah, there was a guy in the restroom again. The women's restroom. Thank God. I, I, you know what I mean, I could be some dummy, but man, it, like I said, important footage is what I put. Some people record everything. There's nothing wrong with recording everything, but when you record every single little thing, it's very hard to kind of like go through everything. I try to make everything that I record count. You know what I mean? When I had fought that girl, um, I did not really go on social media like that. So I was not able to record. But if I knew that, you know, I was gonna be fighting that girl, I would have definitely, you know, been recording the fight. And I would have showed exactly like I showed with the man in the bathroom. I would have showed the people, you know, literally stopping and giving her instructions and nodding and the security guard being there and then the police orchestrated in on it. Like I would have definitely showed everything, but at the time I didn't. So that's why I always make sure I have my phone on me because you never know when these bitches might want to buck up again. Like I said, I, mean, I ain't no motherfucking punk. You put your hands on me, bitch, I'm finna fight. If you put your hands on me, we finna fight. Talk is cheap, bitch. I'm gonna talk too. Okay, we can both talk. Yeah, you know I mean, but if they want to put their hand on me. I'm gonna make sure I have my camera out and record it, show that they are the one who um started everything, and then put it online to show the ugly face of how they be gang stalking. How they have theater and they have entrapment by trying to force you to fight people, homeless people, and then trying to put you in jail or even trying to get you to kill someone or get someone to kill you. Okay, so yeah, second time today, a man was in the women's bathroom here at Curry Park, West Palm Beach, um near Flagler, I think. 